So ka wacha kweni committee mar od bura marango weche mag budget kod chenro mag piny owacho gi sani ka opach jopiny ewi paro mar chik mar omenda mar higa mar 2024 kod 2025 kod 5 motelo ne somo budget e od bura. Chenro dhi nyime nyaka sani e kar bagromo mano ma KICC e boma ni mana Nairobi. Nyaka sani jo Kenya mathoth medo kwedo meto mar osuru kuom mwandu mochuno kaka atamla par kod auchiel kuom makati e kima moko. Winja ne kaka weche dhi nyime. Take any questions. Uh, thank you very much for your spirited uh, presentation. Do you have any kind of money to have a comment? Uh, thank you, Chair, and thank you for the presentation. I think um, what we are grappling with, especially on VAT, is that we need to reduce the benefit of the consumer. The others, I think, make sense. But that is something that maybe you should, as an industry, make sure that if it's exempt, the benefit goes. What I can show um, is that the type of market, one, that the delights, the Davis and Shutleaf, and other companies um, in the off grid sector and the mini grids as well serve are poor communities. I think you're aware. Those outside the reach of the grid, um, or those who can, cannot afford the grid as well. Um, poor communities, poor households who do not have access to these uh, solutions. So they are very price sensitive. The, um, it is in the interest of these companies to actually reduce those um, payments that these people are making on a weekly or even a daily basis. Chenomakamotino <laughs> solar power irrigation pumps with solar, uh, providing cooling services. So even small businesses, you know, we are not only providing uh, these PEGO solutions on lighting alone, but also on what you're calling productive uses of energy as well, so that they're able to make a bit of money to pay for these solutions, as well as to improve uh, their livelihoods. For, for, for your members, the, the products that sell in the market, are they locally manufactured or are they imported? Uh, majority are imported. Um, for various reasons, market um, uh, as well, um, but with proper demand, especially for the things like palms, I think uh, with proper, uh, proper incentives, we will start seeing a bit of more localization uh, happening uh, in the market. And uh, just to mention, Bonachair, if you look at other countries in the region for similar products, they've actually either exempted or zero rated for VAT. Look at Uganda. Look at Rwanda uh, and, and, and other uh, countries. So, in terms of benchmarking with what our um, neighbors are doing to promote energy access to 100%, both for cooking and lighting, uh, this is the way to go. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, um, on Mike, yeah, I don't know why it has disappeared. Since you mentioned that some you import, implying some you manufacture locally, would you mind us to tell what are these products you manufacture locally? It's good to know what is the interest in that you're manufacturing in Kenya um, and, and their capacity. Um, for the solar products, majority are imported, uh, very little capacity to, um, uh, to localize or to assemble locally because majority of the raw materials are actually 
uh, not available locally. So it becomes very expensive uh, for people to actually either assemble or uh, so it, it becomes very uncompetitive. So that, that's, and I know there are incentives to actually promote location. Uh, if you look at the submission, the first one, or the inputs, but that has not led to, um, it is because of It's okay, just wanted to know whether there is anything you are producing, you are manufacturing locally from your statement. When you say it's some, mm -hmm. then it means there are other yeah. products. So I just wanted to know whether it's anything. So it means yes. absolutely you are importing everything. Some of the solutions, like the clean cooking solutions, the stoves, um, uh, majority of those solutions, especially on ethanol, as well as um, uh, cooking stoves, the biomass, the improved cook stoves, those ones are, I would say, more than 80% produced locally. Uh, but these are uh, technologies, whether to use electric cooking, um, solar uh, appliances, a lot of them are not locally produced. Thank you very much. And then you have Michael Karunga from. Okay. He was the next customer. Then we have Omoni from the Wali Komitla. Honorable Chair, distinguished members of the committee, and my fellow Kenyans, I salute you. My name is Pamphil Omondi. I am an education activist, and uh, I had several submissions, but uh, some of them have been uh, submitted here, like the one that uh, they have submitted here on uh, renewables. I wanted that to be exempt from tax because uh, for the good that they are doing, like from the village where I come from. Uh, just showed me on a chat. I stayed seven days before my mother, my mother talking to me, and she was sick simply because she could not touch her phone. Because it is And the uh, one came and knew that the mother was sick, called me, and then from there, I very fast and installed the, the sun king. Thank you so much. Since kazi na wanafunzi ninafanya kazi na mashuhuri uh, leo siku one of the school i am one of the boys of that school when i i told her that i'm going to sell to be biggest about tena kununua mitaki ya shule itakuwa mingi sana because if this bread is taxed one bread is going to increase by 10 to 12 shillings, that is 400 kilogram. And if I give just uh, an example of a model of school, I was talking to the people this morning, this school gets 100 pieces of every day. And to take a sample to God, I Paramount, Chief, Mandy, Joker, and Joe Pin, Kidding, Group, 
opogre ni kore ogolo pachigi e kero rasumo pa jopeni aro marchika 